MBA degrees can be a fantastic investment to put you on a high growth, high income career path. But the truth is, it can also be a pretty terrible investment because you may end up taking a huge mountain of debt and not landing a job with an income that's commensurate with the debt that you took on. But in this video, I'll explain to you my route to earning an MBA from a top 100 globally ranked university for just a dollar a day. From exploring my options to identifying different price points and then discovering some really interesting financial benefits as it relates to tuition, I was able to all but guarantee that this investment would pay off. So stay tuned. Hey folks, Richard Walls here helping you with career development and personal finance. So if either of those two topics are of interest to you, consider subscribing down below and hitting the notification bell so you get notified of when I post new videos. And of course, if you like what you see, do make sure to also hit the like button down below. So with that said, let's get to it. So an MBA had been on my to-do list for many years since I'd started my career. But like for so many others, the biggest barrier was simply cost. Some of the top programs required an investment of $100,000 to $200,000 for the program. Not to mention if you did some full-time on-campus program, you'd be taking two years off of work, not producing an income. It became a pretty big pill to swallow, so it's a decision that I held off on. Fast forward a few years into my career and a few things happened that changed the way I thought about an MBA. And some other changes happened as well with regards to the school options that were out there and with the financial assistance that my employer provided. Now I've been fortunate in my career to come across opportunities that allow me to excel, showcase my talents and build my brand. Such that I was able to progress in my career fairly quickly, grow my income and not having an MBA had yet to be a barrier to me achieving any of those milestones. That said, you never quite know when it could potentially be a barrier. Hypothetically, in the future, if I happen to be competing with another candidate for a job position and all things were equal, except one of us had an MBA, well, that person would likely be the one to be selected. So I reasoned that it's better to have an MBA and it not help me than to not have an MBA and for it to be the reason I don't earn an opportunity. But since I was already on a decent path in my career and making a pretty good living, I knew that I didn't want to stop working and not have an income. So now my attention turned to the fast growing world of online MBAs. And it was also around this time that the University of Illinois at Urbana-Champaign, one of the top universities in the world, began offering their MBA online which is great to begin with but what's even better is that the entire program was $22,000 not per semester not per year this is all inclusive this is the entire program for $22,000 this was a fraction of the cost of most other programs out there so this was immediately a consideration and obviously the choice that I went with and I've got a ton of content on my channel where I talk about my experience in this program so be sure to check those videos out I'll post them in a card above or in the description down below. But another change that happened again around the same time was with regards to my company's tuition reimbursement policy. My company had also just raised their tuition reimbursement allowance from $3,000 to 5250 per calendar year, which is the maximum allowable reimbursement allowed by the IRS without me having to pay taxes on it. Some quick napkin math showed me that if I started this University of Illinois program in a fall semester, stretched out the program to three years, and ended in a spring semester, I would effectively be completing the program over the course of four calendar years. Half of one year, two full years, and another half year. And although I would have to overload a little bit on the coursework for the years that I have a half year, I could actually collect the full $5,250 tuition reimbursement for all four of those calendar years. So when you multiply out the 5250 times four, 
That brings us to $21,000, leaving me with approximately $1,000 to pay out of pocket for the entire program. And because this was happening over the course of three years, or a grand total of almost 1,100 days, that $1,000 is equivalent to around 90 cents per day. Or for the sake of this video, we'll round it up to $1 a day. So almost no matter what, this is a phenomenal return on investment because the investment itself is quite low. Maybe a fraction of a cup of coffee a day if you're a Starbucks regular. And so far it's been incredibly beneficial for me as I was able to build a network in the program. I was able to learn more and learn more effectively in class because I was able to apply what I learned in class in real time on the job. But simply by being in the program, it was a signal to prospective hiring managers that I had an interest in developing myself. I had an interest in challenging myself to do more and to do all of this on my personal time. There's a thousand things I could be doing elsewhere or otherwise, but I chose to do this. And during the course of me being in the program, I had three role changes two of which were promotions, and one of which landed me an opportunity to lead an incredibly talented group of individuals as a first-time manager. And while there's more to career advancement than simply getting an MBA or just getting some degree, anytime you have the opportunity to develop yourself and have something to show for it, you should absolutely do it. So if you're in the consideration stage of getting an MBA, let me recap my story to you in three quick and simple tips. First tip is focus on your career and maximizing your opportunities to grow in your career, to grow your income first before you start thinking about the MBA. Second tip is expand the scope of the MBA options that are out there and think really about how it aligns to your career goals but also to what makes financial sense for you. Third tip is take advantage of your company's tuition reimbursement policy if they have one. Or if you're in the job market, you may wanna seek out employers that offer tuition reimbursement as a benefit. And this benefit, by the way, is becoming more and more popular. More companies than ever before are offering tuition reimbursement as a way to attract and retain talent. So. There's a lot more options out there than there were before. Folks, I hope that helps in the decision-making process. Do let me know in the comments down below what you think of it, and hopefully you can find also some opportunities to get a degree without having to spend a ton of money. With that said, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you around.